Hi, this is Femi Fanoyo, your host on Maranatha Teaching Channel. I just thought I want to just introduce you to how I do my video recording. Obviously, I'm not a professional, but I know there are many of you just, just want uh, an idea of how is this thing done. And, and I'm hoping that this video will be able to encourage some of you to just go out there and do some of these things really. Now, I'm going to use the video who will help us in the last video that I released. Let me just play the beginning of that song for you. I'm not trying to teach you how to use the software I'm using because that would take too much time. I just want to introduce you to this is what um, video recording is all about and that you can start where you are. Okay. Now, obviously, you need is a hardware the hardware can be your computer your laptop and it can be your phone i still do a few number of uh, video editing and video recording on my phone the software i use on my laptop obviously you need the laptop the hardware but then you need the video editor so the video editor is actually the app or the system or the software that allow you to be able to put all things together and like you know, I always talk about making music and doing video like you are cooking. And that, I think that's the best way. So this is your kitchen, okay? Your video editor is your kitchen where you prepare this video food, as it were. Okay, and the, the software you are seeing on the system is the one I use. It's called Movavi Video Editor. Now, I bought this a couple of years ago. And this is not, this is even one of the starting level. But there are free video editor. In fact, this one also have a professional, uh, a professional version, which I didn't buy. I just bought this one. And it's a one-off that I paid for it. But there are so many free good ones. For example, my daughter is a better video editor than myself. And she uses a free software called Filmora. Filmora. Now, video editing can basically be this divided into three parts so down here you have the the music okay and in the middle you have your video and on top you have your test and that is it now obviously what separate between the boys like us and the men uh, that the men have more toys to play with they have more powerful toys to play with they have more tools to work with and on top of that they also have the technical know-how and also the manpower okay but I do this alone by myself um, once in a while my daughter will help me but she's busy doing a lot of things for herself so essentially I do a lot of this thing myself and I need something simple and that is why I use this Movavi video editor I'm not I'm not promoting them it's just the one I use like I said there Filmora is a very good one I love the way my, my daughter uh, um, edit on Filmora and her, how she has a, a YouTube channel called Created I Am. Go and check it out where she does a lot of uh, knitting and and uh, tailoring and things like that. And all the things on that website, she does it by, uh, by Filmora. Essentially, what you have here is you have your music, you have your videos and your pictures, and you have your test. Okay, now. Obviously, in this particular case, when, when you go in here to do this thing, you have to have some plan. Just like if you want to cook, you go to the market, okay, you know what you want to cook, and you go to the market and you buy the ingredient. It's the same thing. So this the song is like the track that is laid down for us, and we want to build upon it. And the way I look at this is that, number one, you are building, and as it were, you are moving horizontally. Your song is moving horizontally. But as you are moving horizontally, you are also building on top of it, like you are building a wall. Okay, you want to build a fence, okay? But you have to build from one side, and you keep going, you keep going, you keep going, okay? And you keep, so you are going horizontally, but as you go horizontally, you are building vertically, okay? The music is moving on, okay? And then you are building the video, the, 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 the video on top of that, the pictures, and you are building the test on top of that, and it moves on. And, and that is the way it does, goes on. And what you want to do is to make sure that everything is aligned as you move ahead. Okay. 
And that is the first thing that this video editor allow you to do. It allow you to stack things on top of one another. That's the first thing. The second thing also is that it allows you also to be able to stack more than one video on top of one another. Okay, so it allows you to sometimes you can use two videos on top of each other. You can use two voices on top of each other. You can use two tests upon on top of each other. Now, in this one that I gave you, it's just a single picture. But if you, let's say we go, let me see if I can get another, yes. For example, this one, for example, now, you can see my picture there. I mean, my video there, that is me. But the picture, the, the scenery behind is a picture that I got from somewhere, which I'm going to explain in a second. So this software allow me to put my picture, I mean my video, my video of myself on top of this picture. So, so it allows you to do this and then obviously you have the test there. It allows you to put, if we go, if we go back to the beginning, okay. So at the beginning, like we, now what you see here is you see different tests. Okay, who will help us, song and music by myself. That is one set of tests, but this is another set of tests. So what you have there, and you can come here and see, what you have here actually are two tests layered upon one another. The other thing is also help you to do is to be able to beautify this thing, and this is very, very important. So this editor have tools that can make you beautify things. For example, who will help us? We can put this one in white and that one in red, this one in black. We can use different type of test. We can use different type of shapes. There, there is a tool here that can actually move picture a little bit. So these are the type of things that this editor allow you to. Obviously, those are the things that you will have to learn. It also allow you also, for, for example, to transit, transit from one picture to another picture, to transit from, from one video to another video. It helps you to do it in a way that is nice. I mean, again, obviously, you can only give what you, you can only give what you have. Okay, number one, I can only do the things I am techni technically able to do. Number one. And number two, I can only do things that my machine and my software will allow me to do. But obviously, when you are going to do a music like you have to prepare for it. So you have to get all your ingredients. So I have the music, so that music has already been done. I need a video. So obviously in this particular case, I've decided that I was going to feature in it. So I have to go out and do those videoing myself. Now, I'm not going to talk about how to do videoing today. But you will see one of the things that allow you to be able to stack video upon video is when I use green screen now. And that's just a technique that allow you to be able to put yourself in different videos and different screen. Okay, so you have to get all those videos done. But one of the major part of this project were the pictures and the videos that I put into it now. And this is very important that you don't put videos and pictures that are, are copyrighted from somewhere else. So you, you need to be sure you put things that somebody is not going to come after you later. So personally, what I tend to do is that I sometimes have my own pictures, but also um, primarily and fundamentally, I go to this website and you will see, if you look into my videos on my YouTube, you will see myself acknowledging this website over and over and over and over again. Okay, this is the website I use, pixabay.com. And here, as you can see, you can find free images and royal free stock. And this is where I all those pictures and all those videos that you see there, this is where I get them from. And obviously, if you want to do something that is bigger and, you know, much more grand, you can actually buy more of these videos and images but all the ones i use there are basically from here for example if i type in riot which is i think that is probably one of the things i did uh, okay that didn't work so let's type in riot okay, let's type in riot okay 
So when I type in Riot, you can see that is one of the pictures I use. In fact, <laughs> in fact, these are three of the pictures I use in 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 the video. Okay, and and you can you can see straight away now. The one on top here is where you can actually buy. So if you want to produce something much more standard, you can buy these things. But I didn't buy any one of those things. I just used some of their stocking pictures. And you can change this to videos. Let's see. And the one on top are the one you have to buy. Now you can see this was the video I actually used. This one. That was the one I used in the... Um, in my video your, your your sound is ready you get your video your picture and what I tend to do is I just go in there and download and, and I have an idea of what I want to cook and I just go in there and download as many pictures and as many videos that I think I could potentially use and then I just start building so obviously you start from the beginning and now you, you've had all your videos together and you just start laying them down obviously what because I know I was going to appear in this I've recorded myself wearing different clothes um, you know myself in different places a whole lot of I mean not a whole lot some of those things you ended up not using but you have them there and what you then do is that you just start at the beginning and you start building them upon each other what I tend to do is if you can if you can see this this background what I tend to do because I know that I'm going to be manipulating a lot of things on top what I tend to do is to just lay down a white background let me let me extend it here so that you will see what I'm doing now if I click that all you will see is just white and that is my foundation because for you to manipulate anything the, the foundation, whatever is on the foundation, is difficult to manipulate, okay, in the sense of moving things around. I mean, there's things you can do to it. So what I tend to do is I tend to lay down the, the white foundation. Maybe you can make it different color depending on what you have in mind. I tend to do that, okay. I tend to lay the white, white foundation so that then when I put anything on top, I can move them around. Let me, let me give you some example here. <music> Okay, now look at this scenery. What you are looking at there essentially is me here. Obviously, that was me in my back garden <laughs> with a green screen behind me, dancing to the music that I was playing beside me, which obviously I have to come and sing. Now, we're not going to go into the detail here. Okay, that was me in my back garden. Obviously, behind me was a green screen. And I've removed that again you will have to learn how to do these things but what I then did is I have this picture so so this is me okay so that's me you can see I can increase my size you see that I can decrease my size I can increase my size all I have to do is to look for where I can put myself in this picture and voila I mean I, I look at a lot of places I can put myself and was there now that was me so essentially what you, what you have there is this picture you can see I'm gone there now that is that was the picture one of the picture I got from Pixabay and I used that and I put myself on top of that and that is how this scene came to be essentially now obviously the other thing on this scene is the test and um, which is what you are seeing let me make this bigger so I can which is what you are seeing over here and that was me using all the instrument here to put a test in that picture so it, it is really now I know it's, there are other things obviously you have to learn how do I put the picture how do I connect them how do I make this bigger how do I make that smaller how do I make this more beautiful how do I connect this how do I sing that to sing this yes there's so other things to learn but they are not as difficult as they, they they appear the most important thing is for you to know that as your timeline is going horizontally you are building on top of it and you are building music video or picture and test and you are using all the tools in your software to actually build 
as you go along. And that's the way we make these things. Okay, yes, yes, there are many, many things I don't understand about some of these things. We can talk about how do we zoom in, how do we zoom out, how do we how do we blow this, how do we put this on top of this? Yes. But fundamentally and simply, this is what we do. That was that was the one I put myself. I mean, this this is this is a video I've used in a couple of my of my production now. Okay, so again, so essentially, <laughs> essentially again, that was me dancing in front of a green screen, and I just came to put myself on top. I mean, I had this video. So the video is there and that is me i can move me around if i want to okay i just came to put myself in front of that obviously this machine has allowed me to remove the background the green screen because that's what the green screen allow you to do so you can remove the green screen and then it leaves you in front of it all again like i said there are techniques to change some of this thing but i don't know a lot of those stuff myself but this is the little things i know okay and let me just tell you a good <laughs> funny story here I mean, you can. <laughs> I think some of these things. Watch, watch what's going on here. Okay. I don't know whether you saw the way I look back. Actually, what happened at <laughs> that point was that when I was doing this thing, it was so windy. In fact, the wind actually almost broke my camera. I mean, my 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 phone. That it just threw the whole thing. It was so windy that when I was dancing, the green screen behind me was really. B so when you see my clothes actually being blown off, that was the real wind blowing. So when I look back, <laughs> I was actually wondering whether the green screen is still there. But it all works out. So, so look, there, like I said, there are so many free video editor that you can go out there and just buy or not use them just download them and start using if this is your thing maybe this is not your thing but if you want to do some of these things i mean these videos were recorded by my by my by my mobile phone okay just need to buy a green screen if that's your thing sometimes you don't need a green screen i mean like at the beginning it's just the picture so i just i just thought i will just put this out there maybe maybe somewhere down the line i can do a little bit more you know in-depth thing about how to use some of this thing but the principle are what i've told you and it, it's just you getting one editor and just just use it in fact i think one of the reasons i never get around to use filmora is because i will have to learn it again i mean obviously i, I know the principle i've used this movavi now for a couple of years i'm comfortable with it it is very limiting if they kept sending me things that they want me to update i, I mean upgrade i don't want to upgrade i'm happy with it <laughs> all right i hope this has been very useful to you have a wonderful day god bless you shalom bye